uh, hi everyone welcome to the world of hacking today we are going to see the ssrf attack which is a server side request forgery so there are a lot of definitions regarding the ssrf let us go for the standard definitions which is from owsp and also ports figure so if you see the server side request forgery so this is the top 10 in the OWSP, it has been added in the 2021 version. And this category is also a very huge impact if this vulnerability exists in the application. So let us see what OWSP is defining about the SSRF. So SSRF flaws occur whenever a web application is fetching a remote source without validating the user supplied URL. It allows an attacker to force the application to send a crafted request to an unexpected destination, even when protected by a firewall, VPN, or another type of network access control list. So as modern web applications provide end users with convenient features, fetching a URL becomes a common scenario. Based on this, you know, the SSRF attack is getting increasing. So this line is very important as we are into utilizing all the modern web applications and this modern web applications is fetching a url that means it is fetching a url from the server getting the data that results the ssrf attacks getting increased and also the severity is also becoming very higher due to cloud services and complexity of architectures so this attack is mainly possible and for the cloud services as well like aws azure and gcp and the complexity of architectures this became you know the severity is very very high that is a definition from owsp and let us see the definition from the ports figure so what is ssrf ssrf is a web security vulnerability that allows an attacker to induce the server side application to make request to an unintended location. So this is some scenario where in ports figure was telling if any third party is trying to retrieve some information from the internal system, attacker is sending the payload, that payload is being getting retrieved from the server and hence the SSRF attack occurs. Now let us see our general definition from my side. So SSRF is the one which is server side request forgery. So this server side request forgery, the name itself says we are doing a forgery of the request from server side. Like CSRF, how we are doing client side request forgery. We are doing a forgery request from the client side and getting access something data in the similar way we are doing a forgery request on the server side which is an ssrf and once this request is been forgery has been done then the application will retrieve some sensitive information from the server or we can even delete some data from the server we can delete the users accounts we can delete any kind of a file which has been retrieved from the server. This is a server side request forgery. So let us go with some practical example. Practical example for performing this SSRF attack. So we are choosing the basic, uh, you know, we are taking the example of the ports figure from this how we are going to get this attack successful so type ssrf lab ports figure and we will get one lab this is the basic ssrf lab where we can do some exploitation on this ssrf attack so after going here we will be doing the access the lab and you will generate a session this session is unique for all and this is only for you and we have to solve this lab to get a successful attack so once we have seen this application this is a web application 
how are you going to identify whether SSRF attack can be performed? For that, browse any request and capture in the burp suit. You will see some URL is going to the server. So let us capture this and forward, forward, and we get some page here. And here there are some countries like London, Paris, Milan. This countries is trying to check stock from the server. That means they are trying to get some data from the server. So here just click on the check stock, intercept on and click on check stock and see the request you can see there is some url is going to the server and trying to fetch some information from the server so in this scenarios ssrf attack is possible so the identification of ssrf attack is we have to see if any url is being passing in your request and trying to get that data from the server. This is the identification of SSRF. Now, how are we exploiting it? So send this to repeater to perform this attack. Now let us try to see the request has been sent. So we got something stock ID 381. This is in encoding form. And if you want to see in the inspector, you can see this. So product stock check, product store ID equal to one. Now let us try to get some URL, which is a local server. So replace this ID of a local server and try to see if we are able to access the admin page or not. So we have the local admin which is a local host admin. We send this request. So we got 200 response. That means a successful response. And see what is present in this code, in the response code. So while we are browsing this, we are able to see there is a href equal to admin. That means we can redirect to admin panel as well from this URL. Now let us try to utilize this slash admin and we can see what data is present in the admin. So this in admin panel, we have already lot of users or something data we must see. Oh, we can see some data href equal to admin delete username wiener and href equal to admin delete username carlos we are already in the admin panel okay so we can delete this user and we can see whether user can be deleted using this ssrf attack so let us copy this after admin copy this and see if this user is able to delete the user we have given this and sending this oh we got 302 found the status code 302 shows that it is redirected and that means the user got deleted now let us see whether user got deleted and we can see in the admin panel now remove all this fill admin now see from this url if you are able to see the user winner oh you can see this user deleted successfully so that means the user winner has been deleted with the normal user using ssrf attack that means we did some forgery here the original url is stock api equals to it is trying to get a stocks from london but as an attacker i have did some forgery on this and added a new url and trying to access the server 
So let us see another scenario, whether I have, can delete the Carlos as well. There is a user called Carlos. So I'm copying this and paste. See, we can delete the user. It got deleted, 302 has found. Now see in the admin panel, if you are able to see it. So I'm removing all and adding only this and send the request. Now we should see that user has been deleted successfully for all the users. This is for all the users. We don't see Carlos as well. That means all users has got successfully deleted. So this is the server side request forgery attack where you can only see if there is a URL is passing. So either we can use this local host admin or you can use HTTP for cloud. We have the instance IP 169.254, 169.254. This is also some cloud instance IP where we can try to get some data from the server. So that's it. I hope you have understand. You can comment if there is any questions you have. Thank you. Happy hacking.